Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another StarCraft II replay cast. This one, once again, features our buddy Tang, our Red Zerg, in the bottom right position. His opponent, Nyan Sense, is actually none other than Slayer's Dragon. So very good Terran player at the top left side of the map. So we will see a great match between these two. Tang is definitely the underdog at this point. Tang just recently made Grandmaster this this season. This is his other account though, so he is only only first masters. Only first masters. Yeah, that's right. He's only first masters. He is first in his masters league with this account. His other account, of course, is VP Tang, as you guys have already seen in these casts. Now, this is actually one of the newer maps on the ladder pool, and fun thing for Terran here, there is a very small area to actually defend here to get the third base, so it is very, very easy for a Terran player to defend that third base, so look for a very long game from Slayer's Dragon. I will just be calling him Dragon for the rest of the cast. Still no gas, though. Where is his barracks? Uh, we are only at 12 supply, so sorry. Um, yeah, for Zerg, he can actually expand everywhere, and these close air spawns are very favorable for um, Zerg to get mutas, but we will not be seeing any of that. You can see Dragon is all already walling down his bottom ramp, so he can very fast expand after this. And as I said, this third base will be really, really easy to take once those tanks are out because a few tanks here can actually cover the entire area here and there is no way that the Zerg can attack. Uh, two racks going up, four dragging, very standard in these games. Fortunately for Tang, he is going for his 14 gas, 14 pool, so he will be easily able to defend this. He still has not scouted Dragon's position, but Dragon will be applying a lot of pressure and this will enable him to actually expand behind this. By the way, TankStarcraft.com is his coaching site, so if you want some coaching, he is relatively cheap. He is a Grandmaster player, so he does uh, he does charge for lessons, but he is very good. He coaches a lot, and he also plays a lot and plays some great players like Dragon. And he did comment on this video, so I think I know the results of this game, but I will not spoil it. You can probably guess, though. Anyways, he did scout the two gate, and uh, here comes the Marines. Fortunately, four Lings already on the map, four tanks, so that will enable him to just deny this attack. One SCV making its way over, I don't think it will finish a bunker. I think it's just to force a few Lings, a few more Lings from Tang. Two SCVs actually coming to Tang's base. He does see this, but four Lings will actually force these to run back home, and Slayer's Dragon will start the Marine Micro. These Micros are actually... These Marines are actually doing a lot more damage than they should. Four more Lings and speed is about a third done at this point, and meanwhile, Dragon is still not expanding. He is saving up minerals, but he is continuing this attack, and he is putting a lot of pressure here for a two racks... This, um, even though Tang didn't actually fast expand as a Zerg, now losing all his Marines, and that was not good. He did not do as much damage and, as he could have. Tang actually pulling away these injured Lings, mic mis-microing this one. He actually pulled the full health one. So small, tiny, tiny, tiny micro blunder by Tang, but not too big of a deal. He does have 26 supply, 224 for... Dragon, and now Dragon is actually throwing up his command center, and Tang could actually do a lot of damage here if he decides to go for a lot of speedlings. Unfortunately, I don't see him producing. What will he use these larva on? This is actually key. I He's not moving forward with these lings just yet. Speed just now finished. He will see this small area of vulnerability, but with this bunker that will finish, I think that will be it. But, again, Tang could actually just mass Lings and run this by because there is no way the Dragon will actually be able to wall this off in time. He could actually run Lings at the top here and just walk up the main base, do a lot of damage inside the main. But, I think Tang does favor a very long macro game. So, I think that's what we're going to see. We see a Roach Warren, so might we be seeing a Roach Bus and still no Larva production. You can see that these Larvas... These larvae have been saved up for quite some time. Four roaches on the way, so we will be seeing a roach bust. There is no saturation here. There is no. There are no drones, actually, and I... 
really have to question this. I mean, roaches are kind of good, but they are slow, so it will take forever to actually run by and actually up the map. And meanwhile, uh, Slayers can actually wall this off quite efficiently. You can see a third barracks is up. Supply Depot completing the wall, walling the rest off with Marines, positioning the Marines between the minerals so that they form a complete wall. So Dragon really knows his vulnerability, and this is great position by Dragon. Actually, the Roaches could move up here and do a bit of damage, but with reinforcing Marines, I don't think this will be as effective as Tang would hope for. He could at least, uh, he might be able to get a few SCV kills, but really he needs to do a lot of damage at this point. Because he is very all-in, I mean, he has not produced a single drone since his expansion is up. He is now producing a lot of Lings and a lot of Roaches, 16 l more Lings on the way. I don't think that Dragon knows that this is up. He can suspect something, though, because this is a very vulnerable position, especially if you're going to expand that fast. Two factories up. See Blue Flame actually being researched by uh, Dragon, and those roaches will actually serve so well against Blue Flame Hellions. And here it comes, the attack from Tang. These Lings are in danger of getting picked off. He should really focus on uh, the Roaches right now. He should actually walk up the mineral line. He is going to try and straight up bust this. The bunker not being repaired by SCVs because there is a nice surround on it, but this will get cleaned up. And Tang not doing the damage that he should. He is actually now just walking up inside the mineral line. Might be able to focus down another SCV. He needs to focus down this injured one. If we look at the worker kill tab, it is 11 versus 1, so Tang is doing a bit of damage here, but it is still 28 to 20 harvesters, so actually Dragon is uh, worlds ahead at this point. His Hellions are out, and Blue Flame is almost done. These Lings will not do anything at this point. Tang should actually just retreat. He could get us around on this, these Hellions. That would be huge at this point because there are very little defense and his natural expansion. There we go. He does actually get the surround before Blue Flame finishes on a single Hellion. He will have to run back home though because as soon as Blue Flame finishes, and I do think that he actually could have seen this tech lab uh, producing an upgrade. I don't think if I don't know if he was actually. Uh, if he actually saw or paid attention to that. Now more roaches moving forward and Tang is relentless in this attack. He will keep attacking here. He only has a couple of drones at this point and great run by by Slayer's Dragon actually completely avoiding these roach and, uh, roaches and lings at the center of the map and now he is going to run these blue flame hellions up here and going to roast a lot of drones. There are only two queens at this point. The lair is almost done. The roach is actually shelling away at the tech lab. He is going to get the tech lab before Stim finishes. So that is actually quite good and actually pokes some holes into that wall. So Dragon will not have uh, Stim at least for quite some time. And deciding to actually pull these Hellions back to deal with the Lings. I do think he did have enough Marines though to actually deal with that. So maybe Slayers would have been better off sacrificing these Hellions to get some drone kills, but he is very much ahead in the Harvester count at this point. Still no more Harvesters killed and 44 to 34 Harvesters. Tang not looking as good as he would want to in this game. You can see those Blue Flame Hellions doing so much damage to Lings. These Roaches are gonna just march right next to him. And I wonder what Tang's plan is at this point to actually come back in this game. Because once there are a few siege tanks out, these roaches are just not going to cut it. Because, I mean, tanks do huge damage against roaches. Now they are on siege, but that is 50 damage for tanks against roaches. And another command center going up for Slayer's Dragon. And this is really not looking good. Dragon finally sieging up on the low ground here, going to be able to just fortify this position. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually threw down a couple of bunkers and a couple of turrets here just to be very safe because at this point when he lands his command center, he will be on three bases forever. Tang apparently is going to go for his third, a third base of his own. There he goes. And is he teching up? What is he producing at this point? He is just... Producing mass roaches, lings, and banelings. He will stick with that composition. 
and uh, not using that layer tech just yet, except for Roach and uh, Link Speed, uh, Bane Link Speed, sorry, he is going to start working on these destructible rocks, which will actually give him another avenue of attack. I do think that Dragon does see this, so he will be able to siege up a couple of tanks on the high ground. His Hellions ran right past this, and uh, he's not reacting to this. This might be dangerous if these rocks actually fall. This will be a lot more a lot harder to actually defend his third base and the rocks actually do fall they does manage to run up here to see that there is no third just yet and uh, the tanks get a few shots off but these roaches are actually gonna run back home safely meanwhile tanks third base is almost done the third base for dragon is morphing into a orbital command or warping in or transforming into I don't really know what you call the transformation of a command center into an orbital command but it doesn't matter tanks third base is now up and running he is still way behind on harvesters so he really needs to tech up at this point he needs that hive tech to get those um, broodlords out because really he will have no answer straight up to this this is just such a huge army it is 143 to 118 supply and the only way that a zerg can actually bust through a big army like this is with a lot of tech so you need Infestors, Broodlords, and Ultras to deal with this. This tiny, tiny little army from Tang just won't cut it at this point. I don't even think they can reach a single Marine because that is just so many tanks at this point. That is 10 tanks siege up and defending the main base. The tanks do not have a single upgrade just yet, so he is at least a bit ahead on the upgrades or he is just now starting attack level 1 a bit late by Tang and one, weapons level 1 for the infantry are up for Slayer's Dragon and this might actually just trigger an attack two medevacs gonna join this army might be able to elevator a few marines abuse of this ledge that I haven't seen just yet on this map uh, we all know that this will get abused sooner or later might we see Dragon actually abuse this for the first time that would be awesome, I would love to see this, and Tang really needs to get a lot of nice Baneling shots on this army because that is the only way he can actually survive. I'm surprised he didn't get Burrow at this point because Burrow would be awesome, obviously. His pathogen glands is almost done, so he, we will be seeing some infestors, and I'm surprised he's actually not building any because he is very gas heavy at this point and these infestors could actually work wonders. He is gonna try and attack here before the tanks are sieged up Will he be able to get these shots off? But no, the Banelings get caught off behind the Roaches, and this will be good game. I mean, look at that. The entire army from Dragon survives, and Tang actually wrote in his email that this was a humbling experience, and I can understand that. I mean, look at the army left for Dragon in his 163 to 86 supply. GG, well played from Tang, and that will be game. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and hopefully you enjoyed these cast once again.